Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Mindset Talk. You already know what I'm about to, what I'm about to say. <laughs> You're here for a treat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone is a treat. Everyone is a treat. So let me introduce uh, first of all, the, the man of the hour, okay, the man of every hour, Mr. Michael L. Parks. Woof, he is the man, uh, Michael L. Parks, a, a.k.a. Pops. Y'all call him Pops, okay? Call him Pops. P-O-T-P-S. If you ever text him, it's two P's. Remember, it's two, not one, two P's, right? And so uh, let me introduce our special guest today, the wonderful uh, Miss Karen McGill Butler. What's going on, Karen? Hello, everyone. hello. hello. <laughs> you see, she's um, chilling on her porch, uh, taking in some fresh air. Yes. And uh, we're just uh, glad that uh, Karen is joining us today uh, just to talk about uh, her journey. And so uh, let's see. I don't even know. How, how long have we been knowing each other, Karen? How long? Do you know? At least. 15 years, I know. Woo! At, at least, least 15, 15 years. years. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, at least. I yeah. didn't realize that it had been that long. Yeah. How, you know, it how, longer, because when you, how long you been, you been in the choir back in, at, uh, I was, I, was in the, I was in the choir for like 20 years. So back in Manson Street. So, and, and so I, you know, I was in it for like seven yeah, years. Yeah, back in Manson Street. You know, so I think it was longer than that because we've been at Mass Street was since 2003, right? Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't really. I mean, not Mass Street. Like not Mass Street. No, I know. I we've know been, what you meant. We, we've, been, we've been at our current location since 2003. Since 2003. Yeah, yeah, I knew what you right. meant. Yeah. So, so basically, that's what, 18 years right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. 18 Long years time. right there. And so before long that was time. Roosevelt and then Madison Street. So we know you exactly. quite a long time. Well, mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you this. I think when we met, I think Aaron may, may have been still in high school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or, or or maybe maybe college, maybe first couple years of college. But I'm thinking no, I think, high high school. I think high school. I think high school. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. I think she was in high school. So, uh, so we that's can just been agree it's been, a, it's been a minute. We can agree it's been a minute. Been a minute. Yes. Yes. It's yes. been a minute. Uh, so, okay, so y'all, they probably like, what are y'all talking about? So th this is our, 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 our church member, guys. We go to church mm -hmm. together, have yes. been going to come through. Wish stream, shout out to Wish stream church. Shout out to Wish stream, stream. <laughs> the stream, in the stream. <laughs> Uh, with Pastor Robert Wingfield. Um, so we've been a member of Robert that church. A. Robert A. Wingfield, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. We've been there since 94. Wow. Uh, the year we got married is the year we um, started going to the church, right? So I've been married 27 years. And so we've been at the church, you know, uh, actually July of, wow. July of 94 is when we started going. So almost 27 wow. years we've been going to the church. So mm -hmm. they basically saw us grow up. The church has seen us grow up, right? <laughs> so we, we were babies, but uh, now we are here. So uh, that's not what we're here for. So Karen, tell the yes. people, uh, so this is Mindset Talks. You know, everybody know we're talking about sugar ain't sweet, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let the people know why did you decide, like what prompted you to look into sugar ain't sweet? Other than the fact that Mike made me, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, I had to get that in, right? Okay, okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, elaborate, elaborate on that. Elaborate. I, uh, I actually am a insulin dependent diabetic or was an insulin dependent diabetic who was having trouble managing my sugars. I was getting sugars in the two and three hundreds. Um, and I just was not feeling healthy. I was not eating correctly. Um, I was eating too late, as I found out uh, last Sunday, uh, not giving my body time to digest the food before sleeping on it. I was not exercising. Um, and I just was not healthy. When I saw one of these mindset maintenance talks with my um, choir director, Nathaniel Thomas, I was just blown away. 
I mean, blown away. Now, before that, I had to listen to the three hour testimony of Pops here. <laughs> who, who told me at the end of his testimony, well, if you don't believe me, if you just don't believe me, I have somebody that you do will believe. And that's when I saw Matt's, um, when I saw Nat's testimony. And I, I was sold. I was sold. It was something that was going to hold me accountable mm -hmm. for what I was trying to do, mm -hmm. which was lower my glucose levels, come off of blood pressure medicine, lose a, a couple of pounds, which mm -hmm. I've lost a couple, but mm -hmm. just to get on the right track as to knowing what I needed to do to get healthy and be able to stay healthy. Yes, yes. Uh, so when you say you weren't feeling your best, can you, can you describe how were you feeling prior to sugar and sweet? If you, if you could describe it. I was very, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I was very lethargic. Mm -hmm. Um, I was sleep a lot. I just had no, no energy. Mm -hmm. My mind had energy, but mm -hmm. my body was not cooperating with my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I needed to know what to do to get my body stronger um, behind my <laughs> behind my double transplant. Um, mm. You know, I'm still working on recuperating from mm -hmm. that, but what I was doing and what I was eating and how I was eating was not helping me get back to a healthy, healthy me. Mm. And so you said lethargic, um, like the, like your your mind said, "Let's go," but your body yeah. was like, "Uh, My not just said, yet. Not not, <laughs> not, not just, wait, just let's just sit here for fifteen. Let's more sit here minutes. for a minute, okay? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So I, I would imagine a lot of people feel that way. You know, that's just living in this living in this world, and um, unbeknownst to them, uh, if they just made a few changes in their lives, things could change for them as well. So, so here's the question I have before you hearing Pops' testimony and seeing that, did you think that that would, that would be your life? I prayed that it wouldn't be my life. Mm. I prayed that it wouldn't be my life. God gave me another chance to live. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that I did everything within my power mm -hmm. to take care of this heart and this kidney that he allowed mm -hmm. me to receive. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. I'm getting chills right now. I, yeah. The allergy is about to kick in a little bit. I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because because Miss Karen, let me tell you something. I remember um, mm -hmm. when I saw you for the first time after you know you got out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, Karen, I didn't even recognize you, right? But the thing is, I recognize your heart and your spirit because I remember you came up to me and I felt it was you. Oh, I didn't wow. know it was you. I felt it was you because you know we always got got a lot of love. Oh you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so you came to me as almost like give me my love. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. And, when, and then when I, I I was holding you and I was just so happy to see you and, yeah. and to see you now it's like you have this glow about you right now <laughs> and, and honestly Karen it was it was a sight to see because I'm gonna be honest and I know you already shared this but it was like I thought I wasn't gonna see you again mm -hmm. yeah you know, that's the honest yeah. truth because yeah. that's that's just the paint that was the picture that was painted. Yeah. yeah, you know that that was that was the picture. Mm. That was yeah. the picture. Yeah, you talking about double transplant? You said double kidney, transplant, kidney, kidney and a kidney and a heart and a heart, a kidney yes. and, and a heart. heart. Yes, come on, that's not every day that someone would get uh, that type of chance. You, you know what I mean? Uh, another kidney and another heart. Uh, 
another still, life, Rochelle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> another life, you know. Look I at celebrate, that. I celebrate two birthdays now. I celebrate the birthday that I was born and the birthday that I was reborn, mm. which actually, my birthday is September the 12th. I received my kidney on September the 10th. I received my heart on September 11th. And that mm. September 12th, I turned 60. I will be 64 this coming September. So... We'll celebrate my 64th oh, yeah. birthday and my fourth anniversary. Fourth yes. year. Oh man, what a blessing! Yes, what a blessing. So, so it, it's kind of like um, ET. Dr. Eric Thomas has this saying. Well, I don't even know if it's his saying, but I've heard him say it before. You say he says, uh, "God didn't bring you this far to only bring you this far." Mm. Like, like you know, what I mean, like you've come too far to only come this far. So it's like I got a new heart. I got a new kidney. Mm -hmm. And I'm still tired. Like, and so mm -hmm. you said, I asked you, did you think that was it? And you said, I prayed that that wasn't it. <laughs> I yeah. prayed that there was more. Like, that can't be it. You gave me a new heart and a new kidney, new and kidney. I'm still tired. Like, mm -hmm. it's got to be more. And, Ro, you, you know? remember before I had my transplant and I did buy for God? Remember how I was struggling? Yeah, I remember. Really? I, I was really struggling and that's when things have really started to get bad but you know I knew that I had some heart problems but I had mm -hmm. no idea how serious they were so I'm by for God and I'm going to eat this and I'm going to eat that and I'm going to do mm -hmm. this and I couldn't do anything couldn't do it I, I remember when you I said couldn't. you had to drop out you said well, yeah, I had to drop I out I remember I couldn't I remember. do it yeah I mean and the Bar for God and Healthy Living, they were both good foundations, but being accountable to you all in the Sugar Rain Sweet program, that's what did it for me. Yeah. That's what yeah. did it. Yeah. It's it's like that 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 kick that you need to to keep to keep going and to do right. Now we're not all gonna do right all the time because I'm not gonna say that I did. <laughs> 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 Tell the truth, shame the devil, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I would say 96% of the time I did what I was supposed to do, and it's become habit. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's it's a good habit when you um when I talked to you the other day, I got to thinking about mindset maintenance just the name and i yeah. said well that's what sas does for you it puts you in that mindset for yeah. you to continue to do what you were doing when you had to answer to <laughs> to the parkses <laughs> three times a day <laughs> every day you know but now it's it's habit and yeah. it's not and it's not an unpleasant habit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a habit that I know is helping me to reach my goals. Yeah. And it's and it's doable. We tell people, you know, people, of course, are signing up almost every day. And I tell people, I said, Pete, this is what people say. People say this is the easiest program they've ever done, but gotten the most results, mm -hmm. you know, with the mm -hmm. easiest program. So or should I say, let me let me scratch that. The simplest program, let me say simplest, the simplest okay. program yes. they've ever done, but got the most results. And so uh, mm -hmm. it's very simple, you know, and yeah. uh, I'm like, anybody can do this. Anybody yeah. can do this. I've never done anything. I've been on blood pressure medicine for 30 plus years. I've never done anything that has gotten me off of my blood pressure medicine, but I have not had to take any. I was I was a little late starting with stopping to take my blood pressure medicine, but I haven't had to take any in two weeks. Mm. Woo, and, woo, woo, and yeah, woo, woo. Hold on, yeah. Hold on, okay. let that breathe. <laughs> Let that breathe. <laughs> no medication in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So Miss Kenneth, I mean, yes. elaborate, elaborate on the late piece because you know, I I, I got a sense of what you mean, but I want you to elaborate so other people can know what you mean. Okay. I think my problem was 
I was not taking my blood pressure correctly. Um, and when I switched to another meter, my blood pressures were significantly lower. Now, I'm just going to say that I got started late because there you'll hear about some people who came off blood pressure medicine in two days. Well, I wasn't one of those people because I was still getting high, higher readings. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. still taking the blood pressure medicine. But since I switched to my new meter, my my um my readings have been well within acceptable met uh acceptable level levels. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. So yeah, they they have been. I've been mm -hmm. looking at them. They have yeah. been. Definitely. So you know, and so I don't know if when I was using the other meter, if my pressures were actually that high. Or if it just that I was not using the meter correctly. Let's let's go with not using it correctly. Okay, that's and what I, I'm going with. And yeah. only the only reason I'm saying it because I experienced mm -hmm. the same thing. And okay. so, but the thing is, I knew what I was doing was was good enough to get my blood pressure right. Okay. But I okay. kept taking it, and the numbers were, were elevated. It wasn't until I went to the <laughs> doctor, and it was significantly less. My the, when I went to the doctor within three months, it was like one thirteen over like sixty something. Okay. And the thing is, the reason I was taking it wrong is because the doctor that, that was taking it, he said I, my, I needed my arm elevated to heart level. I wasn't right. doing that. I had my arm right. down and right. it was right causing my pressure to come to register higher. So I think yeah. it probably has something to do with that. So we go with that. You weren't taking it correctly. When taking no. it right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, that, so does, uh, uh, who knows that you're not taking your blood uh, medication? My doctor knows that I'm not taking my medication. I called okay. her and I told her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Making sure. Yeah. We tell people. We tell people. <laughs> work in concert with your doctors. Yeah. You know, because we're, we're not doc This is for Dr. Dee because we're not doctors and we don't play them on <laughs> TV. <laughs> right. um, uh, so work in concert with your doctors. But that's very good. Very good. Uh, I did talk to my endocrinologist the other day. Who told me that five point five was too low for my A one C? But wow. uh, I told her, well, yeah, she told me five point wow. five was too low. Okay, look, um, this is what you tell her. Then you need to get. I need to get off this medication then. Yeah. Because guess what? Okay. If, if it's five point five is too low, you need to get me off the rest of it. Because then, then you said they lowered some. Yeah, of I'm off. I'm off the short acting insulin, and I still take the long acting. I mean, I haven't had to take that. But maybe I say in the past two weeks twice. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I me, mean, I'm slowly, like I said, I'm slowly coming off of this those awesome. medications. Right now, there are medications that I'm going to be on for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you know, because just because I have to, I really yeah. have to. But yeah. um. The things like the insulin and the blood pressure, I see now that, you know, I didn't have to be on those medications mm. for the past 30 plus years. Mm. Mm. Say, you know, say it again, I, Karen. Say it again. I did not have to be on those medications Goodness for the past gracious. 30 years. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, wow. People need to hear that. They need because... to hear that, Karen. People because scared. people, they're scared, you know. Um, yeah. They're scared, you know, heart attacks, strokes. And and as you know, we just, we, we always try to remind you guys uh, the purpose of the medication. You know, like if you could just stick to the purpose of the medication. Exactly. Um, exactly. But I know there's some, there's some, uh, I guess, other medications that, you know, because the person could have multiple things going on. So they may have to take certain things and, mm -hmm. and we definitely recognize that but for you to be a double transplant T I guess if that's what you call it double <laughs> yeah. transplant T recipient. Double uh, transplant recipient. Yeah. okay recipient okay I'm like plant T that don't sound good okay double <laughs> <laughs> it's not like amputee yeah double <laughs> transplant <laughs> recipient <laughs> um and so having like having two organs and then all this medication like how much how much uh insulin were you taking today I was taking, when I started this program, I was taking 55 units in the morning and 65 units at night. Stop it. Now, if I wow. have to take, I'm off the short acting, so I don't have to take any of the short acting. 
Um, the long acting has been reduced to 30 units, 30, 30 at night and 25, between 25 and 30 during the day, depending on where my levels are. Now, I, as I stated earlier, I would wake up, my morning fasting levels would be in the two and three hundreds. Now, I think in the past, I'm just going to go to past. Let me, let me do a jump roll. Okay. <laughs> past two weeks, <laughs> the highest level I've had was 120. Come on, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Oh. So for me, though though you guys say 7 to 100, 120 is, that's to Excellent. me like, Excellent. that's wonderful. Yeah. That's you, scared, you scared. You scared off of 120s. <laughs> <laughs> my, body, my body is just like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're eating yeah. green things and we're broiling all of our meat. We haven't had any crabs or uh, anything. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> no shrimp. No, no seafood. But okay, but, you know, but, but okay, yeah. so so. So, okay, so stay right there because people need to hear okay. this. So here's the question after you just said that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel good. Da, 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 da. Great. Okay. Da, 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 da. I, um, I, t I think I told Mike after we were in for a couple of weeks. Y'all call him Pops. I call him Mike. So forgive me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think I told him after a couple of weeks, he asked me how was I sleeping. And I was like, I'm sleeping good. I'm sleeping through the night. You know, I'm not having trouble falling asleep because I suffer from insomnia sometimes. And I still do occasionally, but it's not two and three days a week. Wow. I can go to bed. I remember um, I watched something where you said you all go to bed at like eight o'clock. The past couple of nights, I have been in the bed by nine. <laughs> uh, been in been, well, put it been been in the bed before nine and been sleep by nine o'clock. Mm. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So and, um, you and, know, and sleep through the night. That's good. I sleep through the night. Um, I I am still working on um being able to get out and walk. I have an angioplasty tomorrow, but hopefully mm -hmm. that will clear up what's going on with my legs and I can get yeah. out and walk. Um, I love my recumbent bike. For those of you who can't walk, recumbent bikes are the answer because, I, yeah, because I've still been able to get my exercise in every That's day. Right. That's right. You know, um, I have tried right. to go out and walk a bit since the weather broke, but we're going to take care of that tomorrow. And I will yeah. be able to get out and walk. That's good. So good. Yeah. So what? What, what, what did your family say? No, oh, I'm sorry. Before go you ahead, ask Bob, that go question, go ahead. Go ahead. yeah. Before, <laughs> these are all good questions, by the way. Yeah. yeah but the yeah. question I want to ask you is: Did you get what you came here for? I did. did you get what I you came, came here for? I most definitely got what I came here for, and what's more important, I got things that I'll have for the rest of my life. That's it. It's not just what I got while I was in the program. Mm -hmm. It's what I have and what my body is used to, what my mind has retained, just my whole frame of mind mm -hmm. will be That's with it. me for, for the rest of my life. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. I love that's because that's the knowledge you know we tell yeah. people people say Rochelle what's the difference like 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 what's what happens beyond 45 days or 90 days I say you go on and you thrive you thrive yeah. I said because I said because we're, 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 we're educating you like you're learning you're learning throughout the whole process you're learning how your body responds to the food that you eat you know teaching you how to read labels what to stay away from mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. what uh uh learn uh what what to give your body so it can thrive, you know? And so, um, so you learn, I mean, this is probably, it's kind of like intense training, 45 days of intense training, nine days of intense training. And it's just a lot of information, but, but I believe, I believe people come out better empowered, yeah. you know, having information Definitely. that they never, Definitely. they didn't have before. They didn't have. And, and another thing it does, it, encourages you to be adventurous as far as your eating. Um, I have eaten vegetables that I've never eaten before in my life. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have tried recipes that I never would have given a second glance to. <laughs> right. But when all you can eat is vegetables, you look for any kind of different little way you could put a twist on it. But it's been great because been you, you're that's gaining more knowledge. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. Like, and it's encouraging you to, okay, you can eat differently, and you can yeah. eat healthy, and it doesn't have to be boring. Yep, you know, it can be just as exciting as yeah. sitting down in a fine restaurant and having a big platter fried chicken thone in front of you. You know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and potatoes and, and all yeah. that other kind of stuff. Yeah, and, but, and, and here's the deal. If truth be told, if if we really were honest with ourselves, uh, mm-hmm. I'd venture to say nobody feels great after eating a, a plate of fried chicken and mashed potatoes and cornbread. You don't feel it tastes good now. Yeah. Okay, okay. You ain't gonna lie about that. It tastes mm-hmm. good, but you don't feel your best when it's no. over and done with. You, no. you don't feel your best. I don't know no. anybody that says I eat that and I'm ready to take on. No, you're ready to take on the couch. That's what you're ready to take on. That's, a, that's about yeah. the only thing you're ready to take on is the couch. Uh, now I do so. admit there were days when I didn't want to see anything green. I just <laughs> was like, <laughs> no, no green today. So stop I scaring went, the people, Karen. People think no, that's all they're gonna be eating. I'm going. I'm gonna tell them what I did. I went out and I got some. <laughs> Vegetables that weren't green, okay? Yeah, I got some squash and <laughs> some 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 other kind of squash, some orange squash, some yellow squash. It wasn't green, but it was healthy. Yeah. No, and that's good. But I'm just it's saying, healthy. like you've been eating protein too. You got the people thinking they oh yeah, they no, 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 no. You do get your protein, um, but after a while, you kind of don't miss it. Yeah, you know, you don't See? miss it. You really, you really, and a lot of things that I ate before starting in the program, like I was a right, I was the rice queen. <laughs> I, I was the rice queen. I don't miss it. Now you just the queen. It. You just the queen now. I, yeah, that too. But I mean, you know, you I know ate. What? Rice. It's funny. I don't. Uh, we were rice people too. Really? Even though it was brown rice. We we uh-huh. used to eat a lot of brown rice. If yeah. You, if I if I look back at some of my old cooking videos, you know, mm-hmm. like 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 my meal planning videos, I always mm-hmm. had a pot of brown rice. I don't mm-hmm. know, was the last time I made brown rice? I think it's probably been over a year. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. think I made any since he's been out of the hospital. I don't. We don't make. I don't make rice anymore. I don't miss it. I don't miss the potato. Well, I I don't eat a lot of white potatoes. I don't miss the sweet potatoes. Um, it's just a whole different, you know. You discover a lot of vegetables that give you the same taste, the same texture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all in how you prepare them, and it's just like I'm not missing anything. I I can eat cauliflower rice now with no problem. And that's mm-hmm. just like rice to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like uh, so, radishes taste like potatoes. I love ra- you know? I do my radishes and my and my Brussels sprouts. I, yeah. I roast them yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. I, and I, I butternut squash today. can be mistaken for sweet potato. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's so many. Uh, it's so many vegetables out there. It's always <clears throat> funny to me when I you know, do the fruit and vegetable challenge. And mm-hmm. then people say, well, what, what am I going to eat? I'm like, do you know how many fruits and vegetables I <laughs> right, eat? You know? right. And they're like, I'm going to be starving. I'm like, no, you starving because you don't want to eat what's available. You want to eat what you want to eat, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's like so many fruits and vegetables, like so many that, you know, I don't know them all. You know, I don't know right. them all, but I've definitely... I have definitely tried new things. Uh, radishes are new to us. We didn't always do that. Beets, really? Beets, beets I always love radishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never used beets. to eat beets. I love beets. Um, yeah. Brussels sprouts, we didn't used to eat it. Like that. now I'm making that uh, at least twice a week sometimes. Yeah, you know? I just put um, some of it right before this call. I know. Okay. Love it. I made some love today. Em. Roasted radishes and Brussels sprouts with some turkey bacon. That's, that's like the, the jam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now let me read. Let me refresh your memory for the uh, the question that I cut Rochelle off on. She said, okay. "What your family saying? What they yeah. say? They, yeah. What your family, family saying? saying?" Well, at first, 
my daughter, my daughter is all for me. She says, mom, you look good. You know, you're really doing well. My husband is a different story. He's, he's proud of me. He won't say it, but <laughs> I can tell when he looks at me over there on that recumbent bike every morning <laughs> and every night that he, he is proud of me and, and proud that I'm finally doing something and sticking to it. Now, the yeah. one thing I do miss is not eating with my family because I haven't gotten him to come around and eat as early as I have to eat uh, because uh -huh. we have to, we have to feed my mom. But now I've been doing it for 90 days. I could I can continue to eat by myself and I'll be fine. Yeah, that's that, awesome. That, that's, that's one of the awesome. things that was kind of hard. Yeah, I haven't been able to convince him to eat dinner at four o'clock. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. well, I see you're out with the girls, with your grandbabies a lot out in the park and walking. So that that should yes. be uh, yes. that should be good. You know, that the grandma is. is with a little bit more energy and um, can yes, do more. Yes. And, yeah, because yeah. the little one, the little one will run you ragged. Trust me. <laughs> that, <laughs> we're gonna call her Coach Cam because she she stays <laughs> on me. Yeah, oh, very that's good. good. <sighs> that's good stuff. I'm I'm just excited. Uh, it's like you give people hope. You know, I don't know how many people out there who uh, may be suffering with some type of uh, I don't know heart condition or mm -hmm. kidneys or failing them or whatever or just be you know insulin dependent you know diabetic uh but now look at you got off the yeah. short acting reduced the long acting no more blood pressure medication i mean you know what i mean got more energy sleeping through the night i mean come on these are yeah. great results 5.5 a1c even though the yes. doc said that's too low but still the doctor's right the doctor's right the doctor's <laughs> that's right true. What that that's too low. Yeah. For somebody that's on medication, that means she need to get off the okay. medication. Right. Yeah. All you gotta do is yeah. stop just in just say, look, say stop taking the medication like Dr. Oates right. did. Right. And then right. my A1C will be straight. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The power no, right. is in their pen, right mm -hmm. in the records. No more, yeah. no moss. Like like what's you're the right. name? Duran, no moss, no moss. I understand. Well, I see her in June, so. We will definitely, if my A1C is still at that level in June, we will be having that discussion about me coming off the insulin. I mean, at least just to try and see, you know. You can, always, get, you can always take it again. You exactly. can always take the medicine again. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's good you stuff, know. Karen. Wow. That's so amazing when you think about it. This, it you've is. been on this, on this train for 30 some years. Yeah, my and you about to get off. That train about to get to the end of the line. You about to hop off. That's so wonderful. It it truly it just I I you know who you say you know they say you have to have faith and faith has got me through a, a lot of days, a lot of days in doing this program um, because there were days that I wanted to give up. And there were days that I wanted to have ice cream, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and just something, something sweet and just faith got me through it, you know, uh, so you have to be faithful and you have to just be determined, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what more to say. People, it's, it's well worth your time and your money. Who is that laughing in the background? That sounds like Gabby. Gabby. <laughs> but Karen, but Karen, before yeah. my allergies kick in, let me change gears a little bit. Um, <laughs> why don't you speak to the community, the camaraderie that you had in your team? Tell us a oh, little wow. about that. The A team. All right. Mm. Shout out to the A team. <laughs> Christina and Mallory have been the best team members. I don't think I could have picked two better team members if I had picked them myself. I uh, found out that one of my team members is the sister of one of my best friends that I grew up with. And Christina lives in Indiana and my dad's family is from Indiana and all of them are still there. So we have encouraged each other. We have traded recipes. 
We have lifted each other up when we were down. Um, it's just been it's just been wonderful working with people who have set the same goals that you have and mm -hmm. not so much as coming off of all the medications and things like that, but just learning how to live a healthier life. Yeah. And learning amazing. how to, yeah. Um, you know, and just doing all the things you have to do in order to do that. But knowing that, you know, you have somebody there that'll say, Oh, you had a bad day. That's all right. It's going to be all right tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. oh, that looks good. What did you do to cook that? What did you know? What ingredients did you use in that? So it's been really, really great working with the team. And you all say we were the first team. You were you were the first team after no no the first team after the implementation of the master class. Okay. Right? okay. So okay. Uh, so yeah, we had you know we had coached other people, but once we uh, implemented the master class. Um, you are the first team, you know, after that. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so February, because the master class, our first master class was February 4th. And you okay. guys uh, started February started 8th. 8th. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, it's, it's just been great because, you know, as I said before, it's hard to do things by yourself. But it's easier when you have people on your side pushing you and yeah. coaching you, yeah. you know, and just helping to, to hold you up and lift you up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, power of the, 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 the team. You know, we learned that in Bob yeah. and God, the team. Yeah, exactly. The team, team building your circle of support, you know, um, mm -hmm. makes all the difference. I, and it's funny. It's like, and I tell people like in other groups, I said, this is the one place like you, it doesn't really matter what time of day, you can put something in your group and somebody's going to respond. Exactly. Somebody's going to respond. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's almost like you got your your own personal cheering squad, you know. 20, 24-7. 24-7. <laughs> yes. You know, yes, and yes. it's just been a, yeah, that, that was a, uh, that's been a great addition to the program is, you know, having the teams. Uh, that's been a great addition. And so something that was done out of necessity, just because we're growing so fast, you know, so many people are joining. And so it was done out of necessity, but it's proven to be the best thing for everybody involved, mm -hmm. you know, just to have that team, that camaraderie amongst the team. Uh, and so you just feel like you're not alone. And then people, I don't know, I think I'm a pussycat, but people don't want the personalized attention. They don't want that one-on-one -on -one attention. I'm like, that's... I think I'm a pussycat. Now, this one right here, I can't speak to the yeah. red cop. I that, can't that's speak the to this That's one. the bulldog right that's there. That's the bulldog. I can't, I can't speak <laughs> to that one. But me, I'm like, but yeah, people don't, you know, I, mm -hmm. the team has been great. It's been a great addition. And uh, people are meeting people all over the country, right? I yeah. mean, like really, yeah. like like friendships are forming, you know, and within the groups. And, and people are just meeting people all over the country. So it's been a real blessing. It's been a real blessing, you know. It's so, uh, so, uh, so, Karen, we talked about um, family trees. So you were mm -hmm. part of Nat's family tree. Yes, yes. So yes. you got to keep that lineage going now. Yes, most we, definitely. Somebody, most you know, definitely. somebody gonna see this video. Somebody gonna see this video, and they're gonna be inspired by your story. We've been, we've been talk Mallory and I've been talking to her sister, trying trying to get her sister to join. Mm -hmm. So okay. don't be surprised. She she might be joining you all in a few. But I've talked to several people about the program from when I first started. Um, several of my two of my very good girlfriends, um, one who really, really could use your help, but I'm still working on her right now. <laughs> um, but you know, they see me and they they see how I'm eating now. They see how how I'm looking now, and they're very impressed. I mean, it just, you know, just seeing me and knowing what I'm doing is is impressing them. So my my one girlfriend who, you know, really, I'm really concerned about her health, I'm going to kind of put the push on for her to at least come on to the master class and check you all out and let her let her make 
a decision for herself because I can't make her do it. Mm-hmm. You know, found out one, that's one thing. Nobody can make you do anything. You have to have that mindset that this is what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So did you yeah. did you get a chance to talk to Nat at all? Uh, um, celebrate a little bit. Has he seen you, or have you guys I spoken? Seen, I haven't seen Nathaniel. I don't know if he was at church Easter. If he was, um, I ha- I didn't get a chance to see him. But uh, hopefully, I'll be coming back to church a little more often now. Um, and I'll get a chance to see him and strut your him, stuff. Strut your let stuff. Him see, let him see me. Yeah, he, him, him, and Deacon Leroy, and I haven't lost 80, 80 some pounds like <laughs> Deacon Leroy. But, uh, <laughs> I'm working uh-huh. on it. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm working you, on you, it. you got your, you got your, your win. You, you don't, yeah, don't, let him, don't did, minimize did, your win. And I did, and it was for me. It really wasn't all about losing the weight. That was a plus. It was about the medications for me, and especially my glucose level. Praise the Lord, that's awesome. You know that you know that that and the blood pressure were my two major concerns. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You're looking great. You got a glow going. I'm serious. You're glowing. For real. I don't have my hair is like I gotta go see um Rochelle. I have an appointment. I gotta, I gotta go see Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I go tomorrow. I go tomorrow. Do you really? Well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go next week. I go get my yeah. do this. But <laughs> yeah. Now this has been a phenomenal experience. Uh just to witness it. You know what I mean? Like if if someone yeah. had told me, I don't know if I would have believed, like you like, I'm like a double transplant recipient and, and, yeah. and insulin dependent. And I mean, you know, but to actually witness this, yeah, it's just, it's just evidence to me, just leads, you know, uh, credence to when you give your body what it needs to thrive, it will. I mean, you know, right. I just can't say enough about that statement, yeah, you know, and, I, and for the people who. Because I know a lot of your people are still on the metformin and, you know, they haven't reached the insulin stage. But for your your clients who are on insulin, I heard a young man, I think, the Sunday before last, say that, you know, his, his uh, glucose levels were in the 200s. Take it from an insulin-dependent diabetic. The program does work. It will work for you. You might not be able to come off of your insulin totally, but you can drastically reduce it. Reduce it. And yeah. for the people that are on metformin right now, you need to come off of it so that you won't end up on insulin. Okay. Because that, you think swallowing a little pill is a pain. Sure. I'm taking up to five shots a day. Between mm. the two insulins that I was on, mm. so you don't want to get, you don't want to let yourself get to that point. Mm. All you can say is, mm, mm, mm. you can't mm, say mm, any mm, other yes, words. You can it. just say, mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. yeah. I mean, yeah. you're you're a whole walking billboard, Karen. Like a whole <laughs> walking billboard. You know, like have survived a lot, you know, and turned things around. I mean, a whole walking billboard. When people throw in the towel, you know, give up, uh, yeah. don't, go, don't go the extra mile, you know, start believing everything the doctor tells you, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't know. I don't know if you wouldn't believe. It. I mean, you know, I shouldn't even say that. I shouldn't even say that. Scratch that from the record, y'all. Scratch that. From the record. <laughs> uh, but I, but my point of my point was not to say you, you don't trust. And my point was that we all own our own uh, health care, like our own exactly. health. Exactly. We have to be managers of our exactly. own health. Yes. That's so yes, so yes, that, yes. that statement was not was more about owning your own health than it was discounting what the doctor had to say. But in order to own it, you got to be educated. You, exactly. you, know, you you can't exactly. make an informed decision if you're not educated. And, exactly. and just listening to everything that the doctor says is not educating yourself. Right. right. It's not edu- That's just basically listening to the doctor. But when yeah. you ask questions like, why do you say do this? And then mm-hmm. when they say, well, the reason why you're taking this medication is because it's going to help bring your glucose numbers down. So he said, hmm, that's true. 
So right now, I changed my diet. I changed my movement. I'm moving. Mm-hmm. And that's causing my numbers to go down. So if I'm Why exercising mm-hmm. and eating differently to bring my numbers down, I no longer need the medication to bring my numbers exactly. down. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. It's just yep. that simple. It's just yep. that simple. And even and though enough- some people, uh, it's hard. It's hard to get them to let it go. Right. And another thing that probably... Um, and I'm going to slip this in. I don't know if it's going to make the final cut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mike said, Mike said a, a dirty word to me when I first started talking. To him. And I, uh, <laughs> I heard the word exercise and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, thought she was like a, I thought she was talking about a phone letter word or something. Me too. No, 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 no. It was exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, Mike, I have arthritis and I can't walk and I can't do this. And Rose says, well, you can do something. <laughs> I said, okay, well. <laughs> I don't know if I said it like that, Karen. I don't know I if I said it like that. Yeah, oh, Karen, my she said it like that. So, Karen, tell the truth, Shane the Devil. Since you've been doing that, she is the bad cop, though, right? <laughs> tell the truth, right? Rochelle is the bad cop, right? <laughs> Everybody, everybody give me the bad name. Okay. And I got on Amazon that night. I called my girlfriend. I was like, look, I got to exercise. And I can't come down your house to use your treadmill. What can I get? She said, get a recumbent bike. And I said, what is that? Yeah. It sits on the floor and blah, blah, blah. I got on Amazon that night and I ordered my recumbent bike. And I I've been, yeah, and I've been using my recumbent bike. I've turned a couple of people on to it. My sister-in-law has bad knees. I said, oh, get a recumbent bike. I said, you can set it down to your level. And But, you know, exercising was not the dirty word that, that I thought it was going to be. And it really mm-hmm. turned out to be something that, that I enjoyed. And I'm, and I'm looking forward to being able to get out and do some more exercising, you know, yeah. some different exercise and go back to my water aerobics class, which was helping keeping me toned, you know, yeah. so swimming when the pool's open back up, I do swim, you know, so exercise is not a dirty word. You, you can, you can, um, you can uh, get exercise that, that will fit you and your abilities. So that's right. It wasn't, that's it right. wasn't so bad. <laughs> it wasn't that so that's bad right. at all. <laughs> We have another member. Uh, she gets in the pool almost every day for her okay. uh, exercise. You know, mm-hmm. she gets easier on her joints and yes, and uh, yes. and she loves the water. So that's what mm-hmm. she does. Uh, yes, indeed. man, 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 man. See, people are not gonna believe this one. They're not gonna believe it. They're not gonna believe that you're a double, a double. Believe it, people. Champion. Believe it. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna. I'm here and, and plan on being here for a long time. All right, now there it is. Plan on being here for a long time. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, 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 well. Um, this is just the beginning of a, of your new life. That's all this is. This is not the end. This is the beginning. No. Mm-hmm. This is the beginning. Uh. Yeah, so I'm just excited to see where it takes all of you. You know, really, you, Christina, Mallory. You know, um, yeah. it's the beginning, though. Just know that it's the beginning. So you ready to face the world now? Yeah, after um, after ninety days, you ready? You ready to go? I'm ready to go, but I'm ready to go with some knowledge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Ready yeah. to go with some knowledge. Yeah, Most that makes definitely. all the difference. It does. It, it truly all the does. Difference. And we still here, so I don't think that you're gonna get rid I of it. I know, us. I know that I know where you sit in church every Sunday. <laughs> That's it, right behind you. <laughs> so I know, that, I know. <laughs> because I know, and I know you guys have always, always. I mean, through through all the this is the third program I've been through with you all. So through all the programs and know, know people that they will be with you forever. You will not get rid of them. <laughs> you yeah, will exactly. not get rid of them. But you won't, you, won't want to, you won't want to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> truly, truly, truly yeah. Won't. Thank yeah. you for that. Thank you for that. Man. Yes, yes. Sugar and Sweet community is just amazing. 
We said yes, we were going to have a meetup one day, you know. Um, that sounds great. Have everybody come to wherever the location and you just meet people, you know. That sounds great. Um, that would Trey's be amazing. Trey's, Trey, mm-hmm. Trey, uh, bad cop, good cop stories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any bad cop stories, so I guess you, you can share those. I got plenty of good cop stories, though. But oh, yeah. Also, Trey, Trey, uh, like stories of like challenges because a lot of times people yes. they, when they start talking they realize that they went through some of the same things yeah you know? exactly right. exactly right yeah right yeah right, right. Mm-mm-mm. yeah Mm-mm-mm. well i'm excited i'm excited for you um your journey your your long life journey with your family um the hit 100 you know um yeah i'm excited i'm excited yeah, yeah, yeah. I can only imagine what um, Aaron is feeling, you know, to see her mom thriving. You know, I, I just, I can't help yeah. that. Me having lost my mom and my father. And so to, I just I always put myself back at that little girl, you know, when I was a little girl, you know, mm-hmm. thinking about my parents and, and just hoping they would, they would one day be healthier, you know? Yeah. And so now she has that opportunity. Because I also remember seeing her when you were in the hospital, you know, and, and, yes. uh, and, uh, I want to say, did she not come for a week or two? I think she, she didn't come for a minute or two, but I remember yeah. talking to her and everybody was just kind of, you know, praying. You really just couldn't say much, but just, you know, yeah. you just could look, yeah. you get that, like we praying, yeah, you know. Yeah, you all held her up. You really, you really did because she was, I mean, she was worried. Yeah, she, oh, for sure. Yeah. I know she was. Yeah. yeah. Very so. And so, uh, <laughs> we, we, we would see her at church and just, you know, you know, the hand on the shoulder, a hug, mm-hmm. we're praying, you know, and uh, so just to see you now, though, I'm like, yeah. man, that's, that's got to do our heart good. Yes, yes, that's yes. That's got to do our heart good. And that's all I'm saying. My mother is, my mother will be 91 in October. Mm. And, um, you know, my husband and I care for her, but she was always one who ate healthy and exercised and danced and, you know, did aerobics, taught aerobics. So at 91 years old, my mother is on no medication, mm. Um, you know, and other than the dementia, the Alzheimer's, she's doing fine. She's doing great. That's but amazing. I, you know, I, I, I give that to living healthy and eating healthy. And, you know, that's what she did all of her life. Well, she was a physical education teacher. So, you know, she she knew the, the right things to do and she did them. And she's still with us at, at 90 years old. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah. That's great. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So you, you so you've been uh, having an example right there in front of you. Shoot. Exactly. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's 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 really good. I'm happy for you, Karen. I'm happy uh, that you decided to take the leap because um, I'm sure it could have been frowned upon, considering you know yeah. what you had already gone through and what you, you know, all the medication you were taking, and it could have been frowned upon, you know. But um, yeah. but <sighs> it's been a blessing. It's been truly, a blessing. truly been a blessing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Mm. I love it. I love yeah. it. So you're not gonna get rid of us, though. I know your your program is uh uh coming uh to an end. Your 90 days, but we're 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 forever. We're fa- family forever. forever. Like we were family forever. before. Forever. Sugar ain't sweet. Yeah. You know that's so, what you told me. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We are family. You know, absolutely. We, we you know family. sugar ain't sweet. Just we just got to. We got to learn each other a little bit more uh, intimately during the sugar. Just, just, just a little bit. Yes, just a little maybe. bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. But we were already family, so we'll just keep that party going um, and just spread the word. Uh, there are people out there who are diabetic, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, overweight, obese, dealing with you know uh, inflammation. I mean, just whatever. If you want to get well, guys, if you want to get well, um, you see the little the little ticker scroll down at the bottom. I do a uh, I host a master class every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
That is the webinar link to register. That's the registration link. It's a free masterclass, guys. It's free. Free. Free 99. It's free, right? So click the link, screenshot it, whatever you have to do, uh, and register every Tuesday, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's where you can learn all about uh, the Sugar and Sweet program. And you can learn a little bit about how Karen was able to uh, uh, get rid of the uh, high blood pressure medication, l l l lose a couple of pounds, uh, uh, get rid of the short acting. I mean, you know, all these things, sleep through the night. Um, so you'll learn the you know premise behind all of that in the master class. Feel better, feel better, eat better. Yes. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, what you got, pops? You got anything? No, that's it. I can't, ain't nothing to add to that. I mean, that's just. I'm just excited, and as I always say, I'm glad to be a part of this of your life and of your journey. And you know, we're going to be inextricably linked for an eternity. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. right. I know that. That's great. Mm. All right. Well, that's all I got, guys. I think uh, we've said it all. Um, if you're watching this, uh, be inspired, be encouraged yes. that wherever you are today, like it, it can change. Like God can, I mean, listen, double organ uh, uh, transplant, right? Like double transplant recipient. Come on. You don't see that every day. You don't see that every day, but you're seeing it right here today. And uh, here we are 90 days later, and this is a different Karen. This is a different Karen, um, feeling better, more energy. Uh, again, goes back to what I say, when you give your body what it needs to thrive, it will. So click the link, guys, register, a free masterclass every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, let's get well. Let's get well. That's all I got. All right. So, hey, I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, guys, let me tell you something. Whether you like it or not, I do not care. Okay. I can, I will, and I must continue to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. And we out. Peace. Mm. Hey, hey guys, before you go, I just want to let you know I am hosting a seven day fruit and vegetable challenge on the first of the month. Guys, I do it every month. I've done it for the last two years. You say, well, why do I need that? Well, let me tell you what can happen in seven days. In just seven days, you can rid your body of the addiction to sugar, the addiction to salt. You can get rid of inflammation in the body. Guys, you can get mental clarity. You can sleep better. So many great things can happen in just seven days. So don't delay any longer. Go ahead and click the link below and go ahead and sign up. We're getting started on the first, okay? I'll see you on the first. Let's go.